ready for Solomon's Hey, giving the glory to God, yeah, you're hanging with Jason and Sean Get ready for Solomon's Alrighty, welcome back to another Solomon's Porch One Shot We are excited to be doing our Mandalorian review Yeah, man The new Disney Plus streaming service show exclusive to Disney Plus If you haven't checked that out, then you must not be a Star Wars fan and if you're a Star Wars fan, you have to buy Disney Plus. There's just no option. Well, you could always do the seven day free trial. That's true. Yeah, and but you'd have to wait. And no Star Wars fan is going to wait. Well, eight weeks. You at least could pick up if you do it by. Well, I don't know. Probably by the time that you hear this, there'll be a third episode. Yeah, and so you know, okay. you'd be good. You'd be seven days in. So. All righty. So, uh, so let's talk about it, man. The Mandalorian. Okay. So they, they've chunked out each episode as uh, they're calling chapters. Um, so the whole storyline takes place five years after episode six, after the fall of the Empire. And um, it's it's definitely obviously styled as a Western uh, kind of feel, so like an old Western movie, spaghetti Western kind of thing. Um, even the music kind of is reminiscent of that, so that's pretty cool. Uh, there were several new species that were introduced, uh, so the Mithral, the Ravnox, the Blurg, the Niktos, which isn't really introduced, introduced, because we do have some of that in written canon, but we've not really seen them on the screen. Right. And then the Mythosaur Dragon, which was only mentioned, but not actually seen. So, um... I mean, really cool that we're getting a lot more uh, species, um, you know, being brought out and 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 explained a little bit more in some cases. So um, that that's pretty neat. Um, I, I kind of had an idea of, of doing sort of a parody, you know, the movie The Good, The Bad, The Ugly. Right. So I have written down The Good, The Awesome, and The Blow My Mind. And I've got different things in those categories. So I, I thought we'd kind of go there if, if you're up for it. Yeah, let's do it. So the good of the show, I would definitely say the CG was good. It didn't, it wasn't awesome. It didn't blow my mind, but it was good. Um, they had some really nice sweeping scenics, which uh, Star Wars is known for. So right. th that was cool. That was good. Uh, the Star Wars wipes for transitioning between scenes was also there, and that was good. And the action was good. I wouldn't say it was spectacular. It wasn't awesome. I, it was borderline awesome, but it was definitely good. Yeah, so. I mean, I like the open bar scene in Chapter 1. I like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. it was a throwback to, to Episode 4. Yeah, which yeah. Which is cool. So, um, the awesome, I would say the plot is awesome. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the, the, the story in this is just... It, it it's not completely unique, but it is just unique enough to definitely keep you interested in going for it. I think the uh, some of the other awesome was the puppetry, which we do have puppetry, puppetry mixed with a little bit of CG, which I think they pulled off nicely. So uh, the makeup again, awesome. See, I would add to the awesome the score. Oh, would you? Okay, the music. Like the way they, they they blend Star Wars and like Western feel, uh -huh. to me it was like a perfect combination of sounds for this show. Mm -hmm. uh, it just it fits it so well. It doesn't feel forced. It just I don't know. To me, it just makes me. It makes me like this show makes me want to watch a spaghetti western. Okay, in a way, in a way. Okay, in the same way the Avengers made me want to read comics. Okay, so it's just right really on. cool how they did it. But. All right, so um, if you haven't watched this yet, this is where the spoilers start to come in. So the blow my mind. Yeah. Um, honestly, there's no good way to be able to label this character. Um, the two labels that I'm hearing are Baby Yoda and Kid Green. Yeah, and even like I've heard people be real hesitant to use Baby Yoda uh -huh. because a lot of people think it's a clone. Because it, th there, there is that going around. Because that doctor who wanted him alive was wearing the same. Uh, Bashir had the same signia as the, uh, the Caminos. Exactly. Right. And so they're thinking maybe he had part in cloning it. That's why he wants it back. Where everybody else is like, no, we just want it. Gone. Or, or they want him so that way they can clone him. That's true. That's true. see, That's true. see, my my theory that nobody's brought up yet is that Yoda and Yaddle. Yeah. Hooked up. I right? heard that on one of the guys I follow on YouTube. I'm just saying. It he makes said, sense. <laughs> I was like, Louis Yoda, which makes the Dave Chappelle skit 
<laughs> so anyway, all right. So some of my favorite things, these are maybe more like Easter egg kind of things or whatever. Um, but I love the cantina, uh, cantina severing. So, um, you know, the b- body gets severed in half. Yeah, it's yeah. it's obviously not episode four. Uh, Brian Poson, I think is how you say his last name, is the speeder pilot. Um, he's from Big Bang Theory as well as a lot of other stuff, but all around geek. So that was kind of cool. Yeah. Um, the Razor Crest, which is a Republic style gunship almost. I mean, it looks exa- almost exactly like the gunship. Um, is implied that it's a hunk of junk by the Mithral. So that's another nod to episode four. Um, I love that carbon freezing is now portable. I mean, that that totally makes sense. And they got a portable toilet. It, well, yeah. We got our I'm first sh- look at a toilet. But yeah, yeah. Now, now some of the practical <laughs> stuff that you always wondered, where's the bathroom on the Millennium Falcon? Yeah. So yeah. Um, I also like that the uh, Kowakian monkey lizard was on a rotisserie spit. <laughs> that was kind of cool. Because if you ever hated salicious be- right. uh, crumb, then you thought, oh, yeah, the, perfect. So um, the Blurg attack was uh, a little nod to the t- Tuscan Raider attack on Luke from episode four as well. And at the end of the episode where the Mandalorian goes to touch the baby, um, his finger sticking out, the baby's finger comes up. It, I, you know, you could go to Michelangelo's The Creation of Adam painting or more specifically E.T., which E.T. did his whole healing thing and the whole right. touch. Yeah, yeah. It was also a... Um uh, there was another kind of Easter egg with 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 Yoda eating the frog. Yeah, because he was referenced one time as being part frog, uh, and it was part something else. But so I thought it was kind of funny. And, well, that was that was chapter two. Yeah, and uh, so it, I just thought it was you know it was, it was a duck funny. lizard. So well, <laughs> he, he ate it. He ate <laughs> but it's a duck lizard. Duck lizard. Quiet. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> so then I I had uh, some hums, things that just were like what I I don't even know. <clears throat> So uh, in the Mandalorian little hideout, um, they have the armor. The armor goes to take the Beskar, and she goes to put it onto this, like, melting plate thing. But she's using these really super long tongs. And then after she sets it down, then she turns it on to get it to melt. Why did she need long tongs? Why couldn't she just, like, chuck that thing over on that hot plate? I don't get it. Theatrics. That's what I chalk it up to is theatrics. Yeah, yeah. So, and then the, what I'm calling the Blurg Whisperer moment. So, you know, the, Mandal- <laughs> the Mandalorian is like trying to ride this Blurg and he keeps falling off. And and then finally he's just like, you know, um, Khalil, I think is how we're pronouncing his name. I don't know yet because nobody said it on the show. But the Ugnaught that's, that's helping him out, who, by the way, is voiced by Nick Nolte. Very cool. And he um, has spoken. He has spoken, <laughs> and um, but but you know he's just like yeah, dude, come on, you get, your people used to ride these, you know, dragon things, the mythosaur, and so you know, come on, man up, and he just goes over and he's like, all of a sudden, shh, yeah, calm down. This thing that like nearly chewed his arm off is is now within moments just passive. It's just I don't know, it was, it was a little lame. And then the uh, the calamari flan. So first off, calamari, as we know, calamari in the general populace is uh, squid, and then flan, which is a wonderful dessert in um, <laughs> from the Spanish uh, descent, and they've made that an or a source of uh, or a reference of of monetary kind of thing, and it's all squishy and blue, and I don't know, it just. Uh, they could have come up with something better than calling it calamari flan. It looked weird. I was like, it almost like jelly yeah, in a way. I don't know. Yeah, and, and, and it made a sound too. I don't so, know. yeah. Uh, the other thing was the Mithral says, Dank Ferric. And I looked it up, and everybody that has anything about it is just that it's an exclamation when somebody's scared or whatever. There's no other translation for it or extra meaning yet. So it's like, huh? Why? So, right, right. Uh, best quotes. Um, that's the understatement of the millennia. It's funny, I thought. Um, <laughs> that, that's from the Mithral in reference to the ice um, and, and the Ravenax. Um, and then um, 
the Mando is talking to IG-11, says, you're not so bad for a droid. And IG-11 says, agreed. <laughs> it's cute. It's funny. My favorite new characters that's not the Mando, obviously Baby Yoda is the best. Uh, IG-11 is a close second. Khalil, uh, who we're probably not going to get past uh, Chapter 2, I imagine, because the Mando's left that planet. Um, but well, again, I don't know. I think, I, I think uh, we're going to see him at least one more time. You think so? At least I, one more I, time. I think that'd be cool. And I really love that Nick Nolte is, is voicing him. I think it was a perfect fit. Yeah. Uh, so one of the things that, uh, that you didn't mention, which I mean, there's a lot of things you didn't mention. And you said you weren't going to do the, the traditional uh, Easter egg kind of hunt. But uh, uh, Bubba Fett was in the episode. Bubba Fett. He was in the Katina. And did you see that? No. You didn't see that? He was actually in the episode. Like his green Mandalorian outfit. He well, was in, it, it, he was in episode chapter one. It, it, it wasn't him because he's dead. Everybody was saying that was Bubba Fett. It's it's not. He's you dead. Sure? You sure he's dead? He's dead. I don't know. Somebody said it was Bubba Fett. Yeah. Unless I, it was uh, another scene. I don't know. But somebody with Bubba Fett's outfit, looking outfit, whatever. L- looking outfit. So I, I don't understand. But anyway, there was a, there was a little <laughs> glimpse of him in there, what looked like to be Bubba Fett. So I, I have watched that cantina scene, I think, um, I, all in all, the, the first chapter. You know what I'm talking probably about, Probably ten though? times. There was a character that had the identical-looking Bubba Fett outfit? Yeah, I don't know that I'd say it's identical. Okay, it looks identical in the, the, okay. the glimpse that they did it, okay. uh, which I thought was interesting. Okay, well I'll go uh, back and I'll go frame by frame on it. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the 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 photographer can go frame by frame. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I thought chapter one. Uh, I thought it was, I enjoyed it. I thought it was a great. Loved it. The only thing I I oh no, I kind of didn't like the the end scene with the finger the finger thing. To me, that was just corny. It it, it was a little cheesy, like but it. like I said, I I think that thinking about it as an ET nod, it, it was cool. Yeah, kind of, sort of, but to me it was still kind of, I don't know, I, I didn't prefer it. I, I okay. thought it was weird. Uh, I, I think super geeks are, are going probably. to are going to dig it, yeah. and they're probably the only ones that are going to even recognize it anyway to begin with. My favorite really.